What's up guys and welcome to yet another FIFA 17 Legend Review guys. Today we're going to be taking a look at one of my favorites from FIFA 16 and that is none other than the German legend Andres Brema, the left wing back originally, you gotta switch him to left back guys, but he is absolutely insane. Obviously if you guys checked out my last review, I did do Roberto Carlos, so this is gonna be a nice little comparison to kind of test out who is the best left back legend, I guess, if not in the game overall. Um, Team of the Year Marcelo is pretty sick, um, but Andres Brema, guys, over Roberto Carlos is what I'm going to go with just to give you a little heads up, guys. He was one of my favorite cards um, on last year's game, and he is on this game. We'll talk a little bit more during the highlights. Now we're going to go ahead, though, and take a look at Andres Brema's face card stats. Brema has 89 pace, 66 shooting, 82 passing, 75 dribbling, 86 defense, and 86 physical. He has a 5-star weak foot, 3-star skill moves, guys, and a high medium work rate. As you guys can see there, in the 6 games I played, I scored 3 goals and had 2 assists. This guy is capable of scoring from pretty much anywhere. I named him the free kick king in my FIFA 16 review. Unfortunately, didn't put any free kicks in this time. And also, unfortunately, the two assists that are there, um, I lost the footage for those two assists. And there were some nice nice setups by Brema, um, which was a little disappointing. One off of a corner and then one uh, as a nice little layoff pass to Henrik Larsson. But that is all for right now, guys. We're now going to go ahead and take a look at the in-game stats. Then we'll go ahead and take a look at the pros and cons and the highlights right after that. Brema's in-game stats, guys, include 91 composure, 91 acceleration, 88 sprint speed, 91 stamina, and 85 strength. He also has 94 crossing, 88 curve, 81 free kick accuracy, 87 long shots, 97 penalties, 92 shot power, and 88 for both sliding and standing, tacking, standing tackling. Jesus. Five-star weak foot, three-star skill moves, guys, high medium work rate with a distance shooter, crosser, tackling specialities, as well as the early crosser finesse shot traits. This card is just stacked and a lethal weapon on that left side coming from the back. So we're now going to go ahead, guys, take a look at some highlights and get right into the pros and cons for left back German legend Andres Bremer, guys. Really... Um, just an amazing card and someone that if I had tons of coins, I would definitely put on my defense. He's not worth a ton, um, but at this point in the game, I've lost a lot of coins due to transfer uh, transfer loss. Um, so he would take about one-third of my budget, and I don't really want to put that into a defender. But guys, if you have the coins, please pick him up and give him a go. My first pro, guys, for him is his pace. He has 89 pace, guys. He's super fast up that left side. Just a huge benefit for both defense and offense for Brema. Really just plays to his advantage, in my opinion. Um, and I think it just makes his card all that much better. Uh, my second pro for him, guys, is his five-star weak foot. I mean, his left and right foot really feel the same. Um, I think I said this in my FIFA 16 review, but Bremo is actually known for taking free kicks with his left foot and penalties with his right foot. He also has a very good penalty rating, guys. Um... So that is something just, I mean, right, left, he can pass, he can shoot with either of them, dribble very well. Brayman is just a complete, complete with his feet um, on this game. Now my third pro, guys, is his interceptions. As you see in these highlights, he's made a ton of great interceptions, goal-saving interceptions. Wow, what a banger right there. Goal-saving interceptions that really kept my teams in the game throughout this six-game stretch that I played with him. And it's just a huge, huge benefit to his game, guys. Now, Brema doesn't actually have any cons. I didn't give him any cons, um, but he did not get a 10 out of 10 rating. We'll talk about that in a second. A couple more things to take into account, guys. Like I said, his penalties are amazing. Going to want to put him on the penalty spot. I named him the free kick king last time. I took a couple free kicks with him this time. Super close, um, but nothing to really put in the highlights. But he is also very good at taking free kicks, guys. And he does hit some long shots, as you saw the one that went bar down. Um, it didn't go in, um, but that's just some of the capabilities that he has. We're now going to go ahead, guys, take a look at his overall summary. And as you can see right there, guys, I had given Brema a 9.8 out of 10 on the 10 scale rating. His pros and cons are listed as well as some stats below. You can see there, guys, three goals and two assists with a pass completion percentage of 88% as well as a 78% tackles, one percentage. Some great stats from Brema and an overall great car, guys. Like I said, if you have the coins, please go pick them up and give them a go if you haven't already. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you're enjoying my return and the reviews that I'm getting out to you. Henrik Larsson will be the next one I am reviewing. I had also um, I had already done some of his footage before, um, but it did get corrupted, so I just redid it. 
um, in the games with Andres Brema as well. As always, guys, feedback is appreciated. If you're feeling crazy, hit that like or subscribe button. I appreciate you checking out this video. And until next time, guys, I will talk to you later.